आप सबको नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू द स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ डिस्कवरी ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल इंडिया एंड टुडे वंस अगेन वी हैव कम टू हरिद्वार एंड वी आर विद महायोगी पायलट बाबा एंड विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी साइंस गुरु साधना एंड अबाउट द गॉड एंड द प्रैक्टिकलिटी ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी विद महायोगी पायलट बाबा सो आई वेलकम महायोगी पायलट बाबा टू आवर मोबाइल स्टूडियो वंस अगेन बाबा जी आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है और मैं आपको प्रणाम करता हूँ दर्शकों के बिहार पर भी और आपका बहुत बहुत प्रणाम महाराज जी बहुत एक इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स है वो है साइंस एंड स्परिचुअलिटी एंड यू नो दैट देर इज सम सार्ट ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन दीज टू टर्म्स पीपल हु आर फॉलोइंग स्परिचुअलिटी दे थिंक दैट साइंस इज सपरेट Uh, subject and spirituality is separate uh, subject and those who who are uh, of the scientific uh, attitude they think that uh, science is separate and has nothing to do with religion and spirituality so uh, i request your uh, views on this very important subject science what is difference between science and spirituality then no. what we have to see you are living in so developed universe a universe means it is a scientific creation by the nature so nature has own way to create this beauty of the worlds and we human being have a own way to beautify all this nature so there is conflict in between that way. we as a intellectual as a scientific we want to take over the nature and nature does not permit to take over the science of the nature is the spirituality and the science of the mind is a intellectuality so the both has developed to the too much in the worlds but as per i i have experienced i feel that ki there is no science without spirituality if you say science is greater than you say without a basic without a spirituality science is like a lame man Uh, without the science is spirit is spirituality is blind both need to bring into the light i mean you have you are supposed to be intellectuals and the spirituality is the original things because what today world is civilized that is because of spirituality the science is only 400 years old science is not 1000 or millions of years old yes but truth which exists always it is always there uh, science want to modify uh, science want to break no no to the so i do believe that ki the secret within the spirituality is there and to break that secret bring into the light is the intellect the science both are very cooperative both are very balanced one cannot go forward without the basic thing the basic thing cannot be discovered without the intellectually world famous scientists like einstein uh, abraham newton they gave us uh, scientific theories like the uh, theory of relativity and uh, theory of uh, attraction law of attraction rather so can we say that uh, these are scientific theories based on spirituality and they were spiritual people who gave these scientific theories to us they find out it is there already okay but when it come as the experience eh, ki why it is happening where is the magnet where is the gravitation how gravitation implement towards the attraction of any magnetic energy they find out find out by the newton find out by the archimedes find out by the einstein so it is already there in the nature if it is not there it, this cannot be how to ship move in the water eh, they find out how the apple come back to the from the tree to the ground eh? what magnetic attraction it is, is there, there right? yeah so it is a magnetic power so we have and so, we are making things to move work because of that so all scientific uh, scientific laws are already there existing there yeah. we we just discover them it is there we say discovery is already we are having that okay as a spiritual science 
We don't have to find out the truth. Truth is there. Truth is always there. We are being we are self, we are existent, it is there. It is not not a new things, but it is there, we have to discover it. But in, in what is called invention is a different thing. So how we can uh, then uh, differentiate between a saint who has greater insights into spirituality and uh, a scientist who discovers something from this nature because both are uh, both are exploring something which is already existent in the nature. One is uh, focused and inclined on the inner things of a human being and okay. another is inclined towards the outer uh, space outer things which are happening in because this nature. The matter is a matter. Whole universe is a matter, matter yeah. which has descended from higher consciousness to the lower consciousness. It has the end. After that there is nothing. It will be dissolved or it will be destroyed. So there is a source of everything. What is that source, origin? We talk about existence, you talk about being, you talk about soul. It is there. So you can find out, the science can find out that how to reach there. So every invention has come to use the, civil, the great civilization, make use of facility of civilization, make use of luxury of civilization. It is already there in the nature. So they just we are finding out and bringing into the light that is called science. And if it is there already, it is called a spiritual science. So then we can also say that uh, these inner powers are already existent in a human being. We just uh, we just find uh, find them out. We if, just explore yeah, them. Everything, everything in the universe has something greatness. The water, the wave of the water has a greatness to create a energy. The wind of the space has a something to create the energy. The gravi sky has something to have a gravitation. Everything is there. That you say, inside the human being, we are just not a language. Language has come from the thoughts, and thought has come from the feeling. And feeling is coming from the, some inner, which we, yeah. people do not experience. So we have a source of individual, and when you have become a personality, then you have many kind of energy within us. So we are not just a one physical body. You are a etheric body, we are a spiritual body, we are a wind body, we are a body of the sky. So this has a separate, separate center within that. And those centers are carrying very powerful. Powerful thing. Yes, what man can do, you cannot find out. A man can do anything in this universe. And what we have found out is a mind mind. What is the consciousness of the human being? It is there known to the people. So there are sent. So very uh, beautiful insights about uh, the two terms, science and spirituality. As Baba said that uh, they already the physical laws are there. We just explore them. Whether he is a scientist or a spiritual uh, mystic, both try to explore the powers within that uh, object, within that uh, uh, molecule or atom which is existent in this uh, universe. One more important point uh, which uh, I would like to uh, ask on behalf of my viewers is that, uh, Baba, what is the need, what is uh, the need of uh, God realization? God does not exist. God is a creation of our mind. But people say that God exists. God is not a person. <laughs> okay. Energy. We have an energy to move everything. When you are coming in contact with the energy, that we, but energy has also a source. What is the source of the energy? That is a God. It is omnipresent. It is a time. It is a force. Which is within everything. It is not outside. It can be brought out, uh, it can be explored. So every matter has an energy. Every matter is an energy. And every energy has a source. So when we do not know where from coming this energy, so we say it is a God, it is a 
God is something yeah. powerful. Uh, so person. we we have to surrender because we have not reached. But some saints, some great souls, they have reached. They say our existence is the God, our being is the God, our soul is the God. Somebody say mind is a great God which can create anything, which can do anything, which can perform anything. So if we want to meet that God, then we have to meet ourselves. Who am I? Uh, who am I? Only can we find out uh, find out through the meditations. Through meditation processes. Who am I? Is not a in moment of energy. Who am I? Is a source of energy. So one more important uh, question can come. Uh, that is, uh, then w these physical forms of God, like uh, uh, we have pictures, we have uh, ideals of God. And we worship in temples like uh, Shiv, mm -hmm. like uh, Krishna, like Rama, uh, and other uh, prophets. So, uh, how, why they were created? They was, were, was it they necessary are not to created. create them? They are not created. They exist because they have done something greater than us. They were not normal people who have done something greatest thing in the world to make a benefit of the universal people. Eh? So we were, we are believing that. It is our faith. It is our trust. So our trust, our faith has loving them. That love has become a God and God. So they were superhuman beings? A yeah, superhuman being. Not not gods? No, God. They are, they, we, we, create, we have created all the gods. All the divine. We are putting a statue on the temple. And you are doing a prayer pratishtha in the temple, so it is we. And we are making them to have that power. Our touch is their power. Our belief is their power. Yes. Why was it necessary to create such gods? We ourselves have uh, tremendous powers. No, no we, we don't want to be lost. The masters of human beings, they don't want to lose in the ego that I am the doers. Okay. They want to make me realize that something behind force. Through everyone in the universe, something behind force is there. That force is the God. That omnipresent, unseen present, untouched present, it is there. So they say that we are just a tool and some great engineer is using us. That great engineer is a God. In, in simpler terms, if uh, we want to uh, demonstrate, define or uh, describe God, Baba, how we can, a normal human being, how he can, he or she can describe God? What is the definition of God? God is a omnipresent. God is everywhere available. God is a knower of everything. God is a doer of everything. God do not have any body. There, but there must all be some body, shape. No, all body is a God. What we are, within us there is a God. But we are not a God. In, we in, are which, a form, in which form? All, even animal, cow, birds, pigs, all are God bodies. Because in that, we, that God live as a being, as a self. It makes no difference because if you feel that this body is a God, then we are lost. We are ego, you are con confined with certain idea, a certain performance, though you say it is a religion. But God is not a religion. God is a power which makes everything to move. God is a love which makes everything to attract magnetic. God is a gravitation which may create a uh, attractive power of pulling and dispersing others. Some say that it is a light. Is it so? Light is energy. Any form of light is energy, and when that light comes as a being, as a self, that we say it is a God. So one more uh, thing which uh, I would like to uh, have your guidance, insights about is uh, there, there, there are two uh, philosophies, two thoughts are there. One is uh, need of God realization, and another is uh, our self-actualization, self-realization. Uh, uh, 
so are they uh, one of the same thing or are they different god realization and self realization as they in the both are the same okay you are not separate from that god and god is not far away from us so both are the same but one is form in the personality uh, one is spread out everywhere in every things but when we meet that become a one so god is only one god there is no many gods but energy is divided in many forms of the energy so we have all divine power as a god and god is it is in form of the energy we centralize to one as we say supreme consciousness as we say brahman this is the god baba what is the need of uh, self realization why we want to uh, realize ourselves because we have developed our ego and because of the ego we are living in ignorance you are living in the ignorance you are dying in the ignorance if one realize that enlightenment of everything comes the matters are enlightenment the being is enlightened the self is enlightened so realization is to go beyond the confusion go beyond the doubt to live a pure life with understanding who am i that is necessary to know because you should not have a doubt you should not have a ego you should not carry any false pretending words so realization is important so can we then say that we at a human being takes birth to realize himself or herself is it we object taken, of we taking are, the birth we are not taking birth our karma is forcing to take a birth okay we have been because maybe in beginning it was a wishes of god but now there is no god we say it is our karma process our karma we say in in, in indian mythology sanskara prarabdha and bhoga so this make us to get a born this make us to die this make us to fall in love this make us to contact with the relationship so we are moving in the circle coming and going as we say punar pijanra punar maran it happen because of karma process it is a force of karma so now there, there one more point is here baba a human being takes birth and is very young a child then after 50 years of age he starts realizing that uh, something is missing within him or her and that is uh, he want he has done everything in life but not for himself or herself and he starts realizing uh, himself first so why why we are we why why do why we don't have a system which which can initiate a child at the very beginning into this process then then there is no society there is no world no life uh, to make this world a life to make this world make moments and attractive to the each other we are taught in the tradition and culture and religions so we are just living as a traditional thing carrying so that makes the life so it become a unconscious of mind so we are living always in the darkness in ignorance so when you feel that i have done nothing i have done everything for the world i have done everything for my ego my names when we realize then then we want to have a transformation of energy and thoughts to something for me so then question of realization comes is it uh, predestined then this karma makes destiny it is not our control but it is because of our karma everybody is bound to follow the rules and regulation of the world and society and they are bound to create a karma and that has already been done as a we have a sanskara so that sanskara is growing from that we are living in this world and then it is commencing for the tomorrow futures so we say sanskara bhoga and prarabdha so that, is it like this that the script is already written by someone and we have to follow that script no, and act in the life can, no you can change it we can change the whenever script whenever you want 
I'm going to east. I know that there is no east, there is no west, there is no south, there is no north. Yeah. But we have made this one. I'm walking to the east, but ultimately I know that I'll come back to the same place. So this life is like that. We know we are going to die. One day, yes. Uh, we know, everybody know, but everybody think in their way, you know, I am not going to die. Die, yes. So this, this ignorance has made a many way of living in this world. And this ignorance has made us to understand that one day you are not going to be here. So, wh wh what will be your advice for the uh, millions and millions of youth across the world? Because they have to, uh, they, they, they are starting their life afresh. And they have uh, come into this world to do something. Mm -hmm. So, they are, they, they are in dilemma uh, about the spirituality and about the science. Uh, what to do and what not to do. So, what will what what, are, what is your advice for the youth of the world? What how we, they should we move? human being has gone very far away. We have captured everything, and our mind has developed in so extent. The computer science, electro science, the wave science has come that nothing is sacred. But even though mind is not not completely open to the anyone. Mind has a great mystery. So we youth have to come that we find out that we are not only the mind. Mind has come afterwards when the world is there. Sir. Okay. But what was that beyond the mind? What is that beyond the mind? Who is working? Who is doing everything? Sir? We have to contact with that one. Sir. So one can, youth can find out who, who, who he is, what he can do in this world. And he can use the mind. Otherwise, mind is always using us, and we are the slave of the mind. Mind, A mind is always pretending to be I, so you are the slave of the mind of not consciousness. So you have to separate it. The mind is belonging to me, but I cannot be belonging. I am not that one. The youth first they have to understand that I am creating computer. I am creating mathematics. This cannot be greater than me. Then what is greatness in me? I have to find out that once. If my mind can create a, like me, another child, eh, then what is the source of the mind? Then you can have a great knowledge, you can have a great science, and you can create a very great civilization. They can be freed from that uh, mm. nuisance of drug addiction yeah, and crimes. Yeah. Whatever there is no is frustration. If you look for yourself, if you sit in meditation, there is no irritation, there is no frustration, there is no tense, and there is no fears. Once you become fearless, then coming going become easy in this universe. But if it is a fear, then death is very harmful, very painful. Very painful. Yes. Now, what is the way out? So uh, one thing which we have uh, now understood is that uh, we want, uh, we have to realize ourselves. That is self-actualization, self-realization, to explore our inner powers, to explore our inner strengths mm -hmm. and talent. Now we will invite the insights of Baba once again on the very important topic, how to transform ourselves, how the transcendence will occur and that is the philosophy of Baba also which is Samadhi and how to achieve that, how, what are various procedures and steps to move on this track and realize ourselves. Yeah, it is not a great thing for the human beings because the moments we find that we are human being, not an animal, and we are human being, not a divine one. So you have both chances. How to go down as an animalness, and how to go higher as a godliness. This is on, on our practice. So we have a method. We have created a language as a name to reach anybody. 
Our mind has created a name to give a name to the everybody. Through that we can reach theirs. So you have created a name of those divine energy also reach theirs. And once you have created a divine energy, then you have given a personality also. And then we have given a love, respect, worshiping. So that way, we can purify our body, mind, and senses. Once body, mind, senses purify, the tamas disappear, the rajas disappear, and then sattva comes. It brings a realization and enlightenment of the material things. The another way is how to be silent. We are always moving with the energy. We are creating energy, creating energy, 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 energy. So we have traveled very far away. Very effective with the energy. You are attached with the energy. And you are using the energy. So you are not getting free from the energy. So you have to go beyond the energy. And that can be found out only in the silence. Not action, not activity, not in thought. Beyond the thought, beyond the action. One has to become so silent that can be deep meditation, that can be realization, that can be samadhi. Everyone can. Everyone has a right, and every one has their path to go inside. So, is there uh, some specific time period for keeping uh, silent? Yeah, we can. We can collect because all material within the space. A space is a nothingness. A space is a silence. But other matters are activities. It, it has come in contact with others to make a universe. Like that, we have a space within. So great a space. But after the space, everything has descended as a matter. And they have come in connection, making plus, minus. And so they have become energy after energy, different, different kind of energy. So we are covered and satellites within us many types of energy. So by that route, we can go innermost. Who am I? What is my source? From where I have come? That that place is the silence place. That so, brings the enlightenment. Yeah. Samadhi. Um, um.